Brian, come on, join in. You know the, you know the words, don't you? I swear, even before my time, that one. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what it meant to them last week, and it's, it's a brilliant achievement. But what I want to ask you is, what, what do you think is better then to, to get into the Europa League, potentially get more glamorous ties? You might get one of the big English clubs or one of the big Spanish or Italian clubs, or to get the Conference League and actually get a chance maybe of progressing or more chance of racking up wins uh, and being more competitive. What do you think? I, 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 that's a hard one to call, Tommy. We, we, we were somewhat sceptical about UEFA introducing a tour competition last year. But then as it went on and we got stuck into it, we were kind of happy enough. And Roma, remember Marino celebrating mm. them actually winning the competition in the end. I think everybody who, who loves Irish football is delighted that Shamrock Rovers or if any of the clubs ever ever get through to a group stage and we are delighted that Rovers will be there, that the, we, we'll be watching uh, a, a team from our league playing in European football, whether it's the Conference or Europa League, in the latter part of this the year up until November. I think it's great. I think they've done tremendously well. The only poor game they played was probably the first half of Lidogoritz in Bulgaria where obviously the travelling arrangements getting there were very difficult for the team. The team was split, split in three different groups. Lots of teams have had the same problems. Pats have had the problems. Sligo have had the problems. I presume Derry had too in terms of getting there. It's kind of disgraceful. It is disgraceful mm. that they, they found it so difficult to get out and prepare for the matches in the way that you should be able to play. And then Do coming you think home... There's, there's not been enough respect shown by no, authorities, whether it's absolutely. Dublin Airport sport, or... Here, hold on. Start off with Sport Ireland, Minister for Sport, then the government. I'm sure if it was other sports that were involved other than a football soccer team it, w it would have been a lot smoother than what they've had to go through going from Shannon going from Knock returning to Knock Rovers got lucky last time out it was fog at Shannon and they were able to come back into Dublin Pats couldn't get home for two days because they couldn't get a plane mm. to get them from from uh, Bulgaria from Sofia I mean it's, it's, it's been awful but they've not got the help they deserve from the authorities who should be setting the stall out to make it as easy as possible. Irish football teams and the League of Ireland only gets respect from people that don't love it with the madness that I do and Damien does, haven't played in it. And you do because you follow Finn Harps. It only gets respect from the general public when they get good results in European football against European teams. And we need to do everything possible in our power, everyone, to allow that to happen, to get us up in that coefficient, to make it easier for us to win qualification knockout rounds so that we more regularly have teams playing the knockout stage. Because whether it's the conference, Europa League or Champions League, it'll be it'll be watched with the same intensity point, and the point same being, joy. And this is because we have to we have to leave there. Carry on with getting teams having to travel half the country to find an airport to get out of. What I know, obviously, there's circumstances with Dublin Airport that are affecting a lot of people. But you feel that that is that is a manifestation of a, a, a greater lack of respect towards the domestic game. For definite, yeah. no okay. doubt about that whatsoever. And Shamrock Rovers should get every help possible to get okay. as many points as they possibly can in whichever competition they're in. That's it. Uh, what a way to, to end it all uh, in style.